Now to West Asia. On Sunday, a missile struck central Israel. It fell in an open area. No one was hurt, but for Israel, this was a big deal. They were hit by a hypersonic ballistic missile. It was fired by Yemen's Houthis. It traveled over 2,000 kilometers to reach Israel. And more importantly, the air defenses could not stop it. Of course, Israel is not taking it lightly. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says that the Houthis will pay a heavy price for this. But is this strike a new escalation in the Gaza war? As the war inches close to its first anniversary, can Israel expect more such attacks? Our next report tells you more. It was around 6.35 a.m. local time. The missile traveled 2,040 kilometers in just 11 and a half minutes to hit central Israel. There were loud booms. The air sirens went off. People rushed for cover. Soon, smoke billowed from a fire. The missile landed in an open field. A fragment of it fell at a train station. Some people were injured there. This is the longest-range missile to ever hit Israel. It came from Yemen. It was fired by the Houthis, and it reached deep into Israeli territory. More importantly, Israeli air defense systems failed. Israel engaged two defense systems, the Iron Dome and the Arrow. Yet it could not stop the missile from striking. So the question is, how did the Houthis achieve this? Well, the group says it's their new hypersonic ballistic missile. The missile force in the Yemeni armed forces carried out a special military operation which targeted a military target of the Israeli enemy in the Yaffa area in occupied Palestine. The operation was carried out with a new hypersonic ballistic missile that managed to reach its target and the enemy's defenses systems failed to intercept and face. The Houthis say that the missile is part of a new technology, it's homegrown, and apparently created by Yemeni technicians. Well, the 1994 Yemeni civil war saw the first use of ballistic missiles, but since 2015, Yemen has been relying on Iranian support for both weapons and training. In fact, Saudi Arabia pointed it out recently. It called for more pressure on Iran to restrict the constant supply of weapons to the Houthis. Of course, this isn't the first such attack by the Houthis. Since November, the Houthis have targeted Israel and its perceived interests on land as well as in the Red Sea. It launched dozens of missiles and drone strikes. The strikes cut off vital waterways, disrupting global trade. In July this year, a Houthi drone strike penetrated Israel's air defenses. It ended up killing a civilian in Tel Aviv. But while this attack may have failed, the Houthis say that there will be more such strikes in the coming days. Meanwhile, Israel is furious. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says that the Houthis will pay a heavy price for this strike. We are in a multi-front campaign against Iran's axis of evil, which is striving for our destruction. This morning, the Houthis launched a surface-to-surface -surface missile from Yemen into our territory. They should have known by now that we were exacting a heavy price for every attempt to harm us. Anyone who needs a reminder on this matter is welcome to visit the port of Hodeida. Whoever attacks us will not evade our strike. The attack comes just weeks ahead of the first anniversary of the war. Last year, Hamas attacked Israel on October 7th. Israel went to war in Gaza. And since then, West Asia has plunged into chaos. Nearly a year later, the tensions are still high, and there are fears of new fronts opening in the war every single day.